Hey guys, this is Tommy with the Capital Z. Welcome to my last, last replay of the 100 subscriber series special. This is going to be Nidal vs. Orcs right here on Secret Valley. So we have Soccer as the, as the blue Nidal player over the bottom and Cash as the red Orc player along the upper side. And this is Secret Valley. This kind of supports Orc in a way. Well, I can I cannot say why very much, but yes, uh, it does um, with those um, fountain of health quite near to the bases. Well, if you see the map, isn't that quite far away? But the blade master with uh, the blade master can really run uh, with that wind walk to it quite easily with the boost of speed and stuff. So yeah, what we might be seeing over here is probably traditional uh, Nidal versus orc. That's gonna be Talon versus the standard orc army. And so soccer dropped that engine over near those creeps, wanting to get this uh, out first. And let's see what Cash might be or to Cash is sending out the peon as a scout out there. A blade must coming out. That was predictable and a demon hunter, another predicti predictable mob thing. <laughs> and anyways, um, no second moon will being dropped yet. Oh, <laughs> wait, he still has the lumber to collect before that. Sending out that wisp as a scout now. Yes, the second moon will coming up, and by this build order, you can really see that uh, it's gonna be Talons. And here comes the archer, gonna be starting to creep over there. But you can see both just crossed each other. Uh, Cash will be having some scouting advantage, uh, although uh, just a bit, not really much. Uh, well, much of it is quite predictable as. Here comes here comes the creeping going on over here. He has to be careful not to take out the creeps with using. This. Oh my! I thought he actually. Oh whoa whoa whoa! He may not. Did he? Oh no, he got the experience, so it's no problem. Oh, that peon was actually trying to pound away a few hits over the moon well. Now going back, that he's actually opting to get the demon hunter to the enemy base. He wants to harass a bit with the archer creeping over here with the Ancient of War and that wisp healing it. That's a quite good plan. Not very very commonly seen over here. He has the blade master with windbox hold of the TP somewhere, bought circlet nobility and the circ and that dust appearance and the dust appearance. Used by used by the demon hunter actually. He the demon hunter also bought a desktop appearance from that shop over there. I didn't even see that exchange of items. Anyways, here comes the blade master. Blade master trying to find a way of you hit all the ancient war. Here comes the demon to try to save it. Archer, it's quite a low hit point. That that archer may go down over there by the blade master. No mana on the blade master over there though. That uh, demon hunter really took out everything it had and cash. Looking to take out a few wisps, uh, to uh, looking to take out a few of those. Uh, anyways, he has to is forced to go back a bit, and here comes both of those units over that archer. Archer may go down. No, gonna be healed in time with the moonwell. Dropping the third moonwell with the, the tree of ages coming up. So third moonwell taken down, which was under construction over there. Once again being dropped. And here comes the orc army again. Gonna be going after the moonwell, and then towards that archer. As these moon wells are out, it is night time. These moon wells are going to be regenerating. Although it wouldn't really matter very much, as these are well, it wouldn't matter as this archer actually can shadow when uh, in the night. And as a, and this archer war wisely being uh, taken back to the base, as he can, it, he can drop it over somewhere over here to block the base fully over there to make those archer wars in archer of a uh, wins inside there I have to say. Blade has a quite low hit points although in the battle he qu lost quite some hit points and now uh, pulling the grunt towards that fountain to heal it pulling itself as well and right now uh, soccer is at the attack at the roll over here and he just disturbed these creeps and which is going to force Empire Cash to go back probably no Empire Cash being smart actually took out that warden which had the Gnoll Warden, don't be very much surprised. We took out the Warden that actually had the item, and now it is actually managing to heal a lot over here. Now we're going to take out the other one, and I think he might uh, be able to complete this creep and then uh, run away. While Soccer is forced to go back a bit, now now we're going to try to creep at this spot. I think he probably might go for a solo creep. I don't think uh, he can actually take out these many units with just the Demon Hunter and an Archer. Oh my, he's at quite low hit points. Like he should, he should back out. And he comes level two bl uh, blade master. And no, 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 no. Get back, get back, get back. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> These players are freaking weird. I have to say.
they take such high risk moves and if you if you if you could uh, had seen a blade master uh, blade master wind walking near there that blade master would have been uh, would have taken down that uh, demon or just like it took out the archer over here and here on the wisp that goes inside blade master did see it did try to go behind it and yes it does go behind it once again this is going to go down detonate yes that it detonated and that woke up the creeps and the creeps are I don't know if that woke up the creeps or the blade master attack anyways the creeps are still falling the blade was halfway through the map he does see that that ogre mage I was creeped out I think he already saw that before anyways demon has sold off something and right now trying to find the where the blade master oh it go, go went to buy that uh, buy that second hero from the tavern and now enter of wonder being raised uprooted to the other uh, to go to the outer side so that the entrance of winds can drop here comes the beast master with the quill beast and these are going to do some good advertisements there was a surround being pulled off by a cash not very well though didn't manage to surround it fully and there goes that grunt it'll probably go down i don't see very much chance of it going to be surviving goes down tc a tc that is a torrent chieftain by the uh, old pair quite common size uh, I was in Nidal's, Nidal's tail on build and oh my a swirl of speed being put out and this might be the end of the harassment over here as uh, you cannot fight the Nidal cannot uh, fight this these shards of this unit especially, bla especially that blade master although it's quite out of mana right now forced, forced to go back to the base uh, he might turn away though I think he might go to the fountain he uh, empire has sent the grunt towards the fountain to heal a bit and yes ho oh, the demon hunter is directing itself towards the fountain as the quill beast was uh, just behind it and here comes the demon hunter gonna be trying to take it out yeah. might be able to do it and the old player trying to take out this expansion point and the, the beastery and spirit log ready and snare being researched uh, one of those uh, shadow or I have to say spirit walkers being trained and here comes the soccer soccer also trying to creep out this expansion point although no free of life uh, dropped over there yet here comes the tail on master I have to say tail on adept a training upgrade with a few of these uh, coming in the training uh, queued up and the uh, spirit walkers are coming uh, against tail on the main thing you want is these spirit walkers as uh, the spirit wars, the disenchant spell of these uh, spirit walkers are very very crucial against these things as that fairy fire really does uh, just uh, decrease the armor of all your orc units and that magic attack just does significant damage to these you know such as these grunts and these uh, walkers oh walkers uh, walkers take uh, more damage for piercing oh my where my water anyways cash is done creeping at this goblin shop while soccer just not opting to expand seems like he is sending that a wisp over there he might expand over there just heal a bit or is the base spot the auburn venom that's qu a quite useful item and also took that staff of preservation i have to say <laughs> i almost said teleportation and that wisp going towards the enemy base doesn't seem that he wants an expansion although one wisp is dropped over here seeded over there just to see if the orc player might uh, just turn out over there and uh, might want to expand or something just for some security here comes the thinker as the third hero and the soccer's army is almost ready over here cash needs to push in try to take out as many of these units as can these talons are simply simply the orc's worst enemy over here and how more and more are we coming they, they can really pump out very very easily over here i have to say and here comes the old army, old army comes trying to take out this Angel War, but the Angel War does not matter in this time of the game. With the tornado, although I don't think it uh, did any mana damage to all any of these, and after the mana take out. And yes, there goes a fairy fire over that unit, and a few cyclones are going to be coming up. Oh, cyclones are going to be coming up as the master upgrade is ready. And cash for the oh my that was simply or that was simply good. He cycloned away the spirit walker as the spirit walker is the only unit that actually can uh, counter that cyclone cyclone attacks. And now pulling off a good surround or spreading his army all over soccer soccer might not be able to uh, pull out here. Two of these channels of few dying over here and all these units are taking a lot of damage. The uh, demon had quite low hit points. It gonna might be my he might be surrounded over there. Oh man, the beastmaster, uh, beastmaster, in surrounded totally, and a, a transfer of item over there by the demon hunter to the uh, to the beastmaster, and now TP back to the base. Now this entered world will go down. That was a f that was really good move there by uh, soccer over here. I I had a, I I didn't I couldn't say that the beastmaster could have survived. And anyways, uh, here comes the uh, here comes 
a cash again cash to taking out one or more of that uh, tail on and these uh, taking out the tail ons are simply simply crucial for an old player in this type of uh, game battle and you can see these <laughs> clockwork goblins which are quite quite irritating they do some good amount of damage as the normal attack at to these raiders as the, oh my demon hunter may go down and snared and there goes down the demon hunter and the demon hunter is down but that doesn't really matter very much over here as the uh, two to the number of these halons and the summoning summoning units, summoning heroes I have to say, and now pulling out uh pulling out that uh ethereal form of spirit walker. These spirit walkers can oh, cast disenchant. That is a good thing for the old player. And right now the old player trying to take out this dragon over here, trying to ensnare it and then take it out. The uh, he just have to be careful that the Nile player does not show over there to like take him out. And Yes, he does seem to have uh, a good number of these uh, spirit walkers, I have to say. And I think I saw, yes, a wisp is over planted over here. And seems like the raider was following the uh, blade master. And here goes the army of soccer, soccer. Uh, blade master, oh, I have to say, demon hunter is revived. I don't see it anywhere. I think he's reviving it. Yes, he is reviving it the old fashioned way, as said by many of the commentators. And anyways, these chillums can uh, just be easily taken down by that drake. Right? You can see that one will probably go down. Yes, that go down. These uh, things really take a lot of damage from piercing attacks as uh, that unarmored armor, unarmored, whatever you call it. Anyways, right now the old player trying to take out this red creep over here, the, the strongest creep over this map. Down the now that ogre lord, which is quite a strong. Uh, gonna be dropping some good item, helm of way way up. Quite good for the uh, for the blade master, I have to say. Now, as he's done over here, he might go for a full scale attack. As I don't think he has anything else to get ready for, he might he might want to take a few of these scroll of uh, healing and scroll of protection from the shop near, uh, just passing through the way. As these items are quite quite useful against these cyber units. And as you can see, Soccer actually is, uh, trained uh, the second magic of this beastmaster as one. Oh yes, uh, he actually the. Beastman actually trained uh, the, the second magic as the hawk over here as the hawk can see invisible units and that invisible as you can see the blade master anywhere which tried to like jack him over here that and that is quite uh, good uh, good summon unit over there and yes he's gonna see him over here there there he sees it and here he gets to caught, caught that uh, banner burn over there and fairy fired home oh and he that blade master is revealed wherever it goes right now for a quite good amount of time and Cash is actually wasting time right now in my opinion least he's actually he's actually expanded over here now taking out the those workers over there as miners but the wisp is over here and he, I don't think he saw it he does see it but do, not doing nothing about it yet here comes the army of the Nile Nile gonna be trying to take it this expansion out it probably will go down has, by seeing where soccer is right now oh scroll of being be, be used but a bit haste cost him as most of his army went in front of him and only a few units caught that caught, caught that endurance at a level 1 is over here level 2 might have done a bit good the Tony chieftain needs to pull out a few of the shock with all these, um, these units and there was just a distant chat come on come on catch you can do it a few of the distant chat all, units also all over the place and he's, uh, he's not being able to use them very well over here has this player is simply doing very well with these uh, tail on over here he has simply has many of them and he's just catching away the blade master again and again hour in the air he's gonna be taking out, these uh, taking out these spirit walkers before he takes out the other one and these uh, tail on doing a lot of damage and here comes down another distant chat cleaned out all those units once again the torrent shield being tossed on them in the air and the blade master being targeted blade master using portion of invulnerability right now and more tail on going down the old player might be able to pull out tail right on time and the and the old player actually forced to retreat towards the fountain over there and this 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 guy is gonna go down he, he should probably use mana and uh, just yes yes that's what he did use uh, that mana pot and just cast it away the last uh, the last oh, shockwave that he could hit <laughs> I am really got rusty a bit with all the uh, names of the spells here <laughs> don't don't mind very much and anyways the expansion being taken out by soccer while uh, cash is actually healing over the fountain over there and 
trying to recuperate a bit by training the army again not reviving the hero does not have enough gold oh he actually revived it the new fashion way and uh, tail on we tail on were actually uh, coming over here and just caught by a snare now being taken out you are, you the, if you are the old player over here you need to be very very careful or, or where you use the distant chat and where you are uh, casting it how many times you cast it and the timing of that decent chat has to be very very crucial it's very very crucial I would say as uh, as that uh, as these fairy, as these cyclones and fairy fires can be really be spammed but decent chat cannot be spammed as much as that can as uh, they have a quite uh, long cooldown time and these spirit walkers uh, are cannot be trained as many as uh, the tail ones can be trained now yeah I think uh, level 2 I, I think he should have got uh, stomp as well stomp might have did some good damage when he tried to surround it yeah, blade master once again being revealed over here by the hawk and once again shadow I have to say yeah, fairy fire here comes uh, this might be the last level of the game it goes uh, blade master up in the air with a few raiders up there and he and the knights are uh, widely thinking out all of these units this is what the old player needs to do. The old player needs to be a bit more inside. Yeah, he, needs, he needs to keep his army a bit together so that he, that he can uh, take all of the units down with, with one decent chat. Over here right now he will have to use three decent chats to get down these three units and right now he saves the GG as he sees no way to get out of it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the whole Hunter's series special. Uh, by the way, after, uh, about talking about Orc was in dialogue, but actually when I uh, got to that site where WC replayed, I actually saw Moon was Grubby and I said, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Just as I downloaded it, I saw like 59 minute game, double O, and I was like, uh, no way that I can cast it right now. So, and yes, by the way, this I'm gonna be trying to upload this as a single. Yesterday, I, while uploading the last video that I uh, did, well, uh, I actually got a message like uh, telling me that I, I'm I'm like authorized to upload more than 15 minutes video. Well, let's see what happens. I'm gonna be trying with this one first, and yeah, if I get time tomorrow, I'll I will be uploading that game. Yes, Grubby was in Moon. I just hope the others, the other commenters don't do it before me. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stormy Z over and out.